It's been three months since he took over the reins of Ghana's eighth parliament. One cannot forget the chaos and drama that characterizes election to the position. Right Honorable Alban Bagwin, by all standards, has made and will continue to make history as he continually ensures he is in the news for one thing or the other once he is in the seat presiding over proceedings. My colleague MFA Pao looks back on his handling of the first meeting of the eighth parliament. Historic, dramatic and chaotic. Three words that aptly describes the night he was voted to become a speaker of parliament. And that I will preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend. The constitution of the Republic of Ghana. The constitution of the Republic of Ghana. So help me God. So help me God. Historic because Mr. Gagwin etched his name in memory as the first speaker of Ghana's parliament from an opposition party. Mr. Gagwin polled 138 votes against his predecessor, Professor Michael Quay's 136, with one legislator failing to vote. Order! Chaos and drama burst forth from the confusion caused by NDC MPs when they occupy the majority side of parliament. Our status has been transformed from a minority to the majority, and so we are taking our rightful seats. Arguments about the eligibility of the Asin North MP elect, heated quarrels about the mode of voting, and then there was Carlos Ahinkra and the military invasion of the house. This is asking on Facebook. It's terrible. Um, not, 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 everyone's now they've brought in military officers fully armed into the Chamber of Parliament. I don't know how, how this is going to end. Hours after that showdown, this happened. We also have with us Her Excellency Ramatu Baumia. Whilst acknowledging dignitaries present after the swearing-in ceremony of Nanel Kufuado on January 7, the speaker mentioned Juan Ramatu as the spouse of Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, sparking controversy on social media. The office of the Vice President later debunked those rumors. What is more intriguing is Alban Bagwin's quest to make a statement that he is and will be no one's puppet as long as he remains the right honorable speaker of Ghana's 8th parliament. First, he incurred the wrath of his party, the ND. Then he threatened to block the approval of the 2020 budget if the executive does not restore budget cuts for the legislature and judiciary. The budget is not for the executive. We have the final power to approve or disapprove. If you do otherwise, I, as your speaker, will not append any letter for submission to the president for his assent. I mean what I say. There was subsequent firing of letters between the executive and the legislature. And then this happened. On account of what has been happening earlier, the secretary wrote the letter. I think it's a yesterday issue. We have now agreed that the proper thing should be done. Fact, so, so, the, so the secretary the was not seized with the full facts when he wrote the letter to parliament? It would seem to be. Remember this? Please, I have a position in Ghana. Number three. What is your number? <laughs> Speaker of Parliament Alban Bagbin reminded Osechi Mensabonsu, the majority leader, of the difference in your portfolios as far as leadership in Ghana is concerned. What is your number, majority leader? We are still waiting. Your number three is not in government. No, I didn't say in government, I said in the country. That is what, what is your position in the country? My position, Mr. Speaker, is that number. My position, my position is, is a versatile utility player. Number, number. Which may have much more significant number. than a fixated player. <laughs> Your number is what? We are waiting. Now, the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbing, also gave the Health Minister, Kweku Ajiman Menu, a two-hour ultimatum to appear before Parliament to answer some questions or face the necessary consequences. I direct that the Minister appears before Parliament within two hours. The reason he has given for his inability is completely disrespectful of Parliament. While at it, a sitting General Secretary of the NDC, who is also a former MP for Wenchi West, has been appointed to the Parliamentary Services Board, plus the appointment of some former NDC MPs to key positions in the Speaker's office. There have been concerns about no woman being appointed to that board. One thing is setting Speaker Alban Sumana Kinsford Bagbing did not come to play. We wait to see what happens in the next meeting of Ghana's 8th Parliament.